city of San Diego is charging forward in its effort to go green. Fox 5's Jason Slossi joins us live to explain why a new renewable energy program is a first for the region. Good afternoon, Jason. Well, Maria, like you say, this is a push to make the San Diego area more green. Today, the official launch of San Diego Community Power, a government agency which plans to provide renewable energy to several cities beginning today. A news conference was held this morning with San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria to make that announcement. This is labeled as a community choice energy service that will purchase wholesale clean electricity on behalf of customers in San Diego, Chula Vista, Encinitas, La Mesa, and Imperial Beach. The idea is San Diego Diego Community Power will provide clean renewable energy with more competitive rates compared to SDG&E. San Diego Community Power will not act as a utility. SDG&E still owns the poles and wires, but SDCP will purchase wholesale electricity from renewable sources. Then SDG&E still delivers that power to customers. SDCP says 55% of its energy will be carbon free compared to just over 30% for SDG&E. But customers can opt to pay more in order to get 100% clean energy. Right now, SDCP customers can expect to pay roughly the same as with SDG&E. But the hope is as more customers join, rates will go down. Mayor Gloria says it's the next essential step in meeting regional climate action goals. The infrastructure, the billing, the customer service, that all currently remains with sdg &E. This is simply the question of where do you get your power from. A good chunk of our power currently is renewable, but with SD uh, community power, more of it, 50% or even 100% if you so elect, uh, can come from renewable sources. In the context of climate change, I think you, everyone understands why San Diegans would choose for that higher renewable product. And for now, the program will power schools, libraries, city halls, and police stations. The next phase is powering businesses starting in June and then residences at the beginning of next year. Live at Harbor Island, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.